hi friends today we are going to discuss with what is a principal stress and how to derive equation for max principal stress and mean principal stress okay so before we are going for this part I just want to introduce you stresses on inclined planes okay so here I am just considering a small system of stress so here sigma x and sigma y are the normal stress acting along x axis and y axis respectively then tau xy are the shear stresses acting on it okay now here i'm just going to find what is the normal stress and shear stress on any inclined plane on this system okay so here i have just consider a line AB or a plane AB okay which is at an angle theta with respect to y axis okay now I just want to find the normal stress and shear stress on this plane okay so here I'm going to simplify this figure into a triangle ECD as this okay so here Sigma X is normal force and sigma y also so 2 tau x y also acting on this now we are going to find this uh, normal stress and shear stress so we just uh, resolve this normal stress and shear stress along this ed okay so we liquid with respect to sigma n so that we will get this equation okay so here sigma n sigma x cos square theta plus sigma y sin square theta plus tau x y sin 2 theta and the shear stress is nothing but sigma x minus sigma y by 2 into sin 2 theta minus tau x y cos 2 theta okay now see if you are looking here we have just uh, randomly taken one plane ed with some angle theta so here with respect to the angle theta this normal stress and shear stress values are keep on changing okay now we'll come to our point as principal stress okay I'll just give the definition for principal stress principal stress is the maximum normal stress a body can have at its some point or a plane okay it represents purely normal stress okay and on that plane or I'll just give it will be observed that these planes corresponds to those on which there is no shear stress means on that plane where maximum or principal stress is acting on that plane there is no shear stress or shear stress is zero okay now here also I'm just considering the same system I have find already we found that Sigma n and tau okay now I'll just give some idea about this is all as I told you when you are applying theta as a different numbers along some from one to some values okay so the sigma n will be keep on changing and tau early also keep on changing so we will be interested on sigma n so this year's uh, normal stress sigma n with respect to this theta will be keeping on changing so at some value for theta this sigma n will be having a maximum value okay this maximum stress is called max principal stress and this plane on which this max principal stress acts is called max principal plane okay so we'll be calling princip max principal stress and mean principal stress also a principal stress simply okay so here at some value of theta sigma n will be having a maximum value that value that stress will be calling as max principal stress okay and for some value of theta this normal stress will be having a minimum value okay so this minimum value is called as mean principal stress and this plane on which this mean principal stress are acting is called mean principal plane clear now how to find this theta value okay for that we have to so we got these two equations with respect to theta this value will be changing or uh, here as uh, three numbers of thetas are there so 
with respect to theta these values of shear stress and normal stress will be keep on changing so now we want to find a maximum value and a minimum value of this normal stress okay so that is called a principal stress now I am differentiating this normal stress equation with respect to theta and I am equating to zero okay so here the normal stress equation sigma n I have differentiated with respect to theta so theta is a variable here now when you differentiate you will be getting this equation okay so that equation I have equated to zero for finding the maximum and minimum value of theta okay so here I'll be getting two value of theta okay which is clearly mentioned this theta value is both the theta value will be having a difference of pi by 2 it means for example max principal stress is happening on a plane of some number okay so if you want to find the min principal stress just add a plus pi by 2 means these two plane of max principal plane and min principal strain are sorry plane are mutually perpendicular clear okay okay now we'll go for what are the equation for this max principal and min principal stress okay so here for this theta equal to theta plus pi by 2 theta plus pi by 2 we can have two stress equation sigma 1 which is a max principal stress and sigma 2 which is a min principal stress okay now uh, this can be found other than by deriving by using a more principal stress which is uh, will give you in the next video and uh, it's very simple by using more principal uh, more circle we can easily find in some one or two steps with uh, less time we can find this max principal and min principal stress thank you